this is my third EY e-bike. I had that F6. That was uh, an okay e-bike. I liked the frame, and but the uh, fork on there was kind of crappy. Um, then I had the EY S4, a thousand watt e-moped style on the channel. Really good bike uh, for the money. And now I've got this K6 Pro. This is their flagship e-bike, a thousand watts, and it folds. I think it might be the only folding thousand watt e-bike on the market. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong out there, but uh, this is a very interesting design. I like unique styles, right? I like unique e-bikes, and this is definitely one of those from the folks over at EUI. It's not a really big, you know, brand name, but they do a good job at designing these e-bikes as far as just the styles go, I think. Uh, you can question the parts or not, but um, uh, this is a pretty unique style you're not going to find anywhere else. It's dual suspension, it folds. And uh, it's got a lot of power to it. So let's get into the specs and see what else it's got. Okay, so this bike is $13.99 right now. Comes with free shipping. And this is the dark gray version. There's also a version called the Camo Gold, which is pretty cool looking. I kind of wish they sent me that one. I'll throw a picture up on the screen. But uh, it's a uh, pretty nice looking uh, paint job. It's made of magnesium alloy, the frame. So it's aviation grade, they say. Whatever that means. I'm not a metallurgist, but uh, there you go. Uh, this bike has a 1,000 watt motor back here with 1,500 watt peak and 96 newton meters of torque. So it's speedy and it gets off the line quick. I think they said on the website it's just 0 to 15 in 1.6 seconds. We'll have to test that out maybe. But uh, battery wise, we've got uh, Samsung cells here. 48 volt, 25 amp hour battery located located there in the down tube. Um, I'll have to pull it out at some point. Uh, eight speeds and claimed 80 mile range. I don't know about that, but uh, it should be up there, right? Um, I would guess around 60 if I had a guess, but uh, payload capacity on this e-bike is 400 pounds, so it's big and beefy. And if you're big and beefy, it'll fit you just fine as you're going along the roads here. Speaking of beef, this bike weighs 81 pounds uh, without the battery, 71. So keep that in mind. Only came with a 2 amp charger, so it takes 8 to 10 hours to charge it. And it's IPX5 water resistant, right? You can ride this in the rain. Just don't leave it out overnight uh, in a pouring rainstorm. That's it. Uh, you want to protect the uh, display if you can, uh, things like that. We have a half twist throttle. We've got a wing seat, um, which I'm not quite sure I like, but there it is. It's for ergonomic and comfort, they say. Uh, recommended rider heights, 5'7 to 6'5. I'd say that's pretty accurate. The minimum seat height is 35 inches, so uh, it's definitely on the uh, taller rider size as far as that goes. Uh, the bike itself is 69 inches long, so it's almost 6 feet long. Um, if you're looking into, you know, put it on a back of a pickup or something like that. Hydraulic brakes with 160 millimeter rotors. Uh, these are Logan brakes, as you can see there. And here's a look at those rotors. Here's a look at the rack. It's kind of a small rack back there. And there is space for a tail light, but they don't give you one. Although there is one on the seat. If we turn on the buttons here, see it flashing. It has a couple of modes. And you can turn that on as well. So maybe add a second uh, third-party brake light down there. That's uh, battery charged. Here's a look at that rear suspension. That shock. It says 800 pounds on it. I'm not sure what that means. It's a HLT100 is the brand. The front shocks are really good. Again, twin forks up front uh, with preload. And a compression knob right here that you can adjust. Here's a look at that handlebar, BMX style. I've got my phone holder on there, so it's uh, the one extra thing. You see the keys dangling there. And these are Kenda tires down here, 20 by four, with the uh, sidewall reflector. And those, those, those are some grippy tires there with some beefy treads. All right, here's a look at the cockpit. 
got these cheap grips over here with the half twist waddle. I hate these grips, but they are what they are. Eight speed, uh, eight speed micro shifter here, your hydraulic brakes. Here's the display, uh, very similar to the Hemiway display if you've seen those. Um, trip, let's say info, odometer, time, max, average. That's it, that's all you get. You get battery bars for that stuff for the uh, percentages. You have your wattage out here. Um, one note, this bike only peaks at like 550 watts. Uh, at least that's, that's as much as I've gotten out of it. Even though I'm hitting 28 miles an hour, it's only showing 550 watts on the screen. That's the most I've ever gotten so far in these first 20 miles. So I asked them why that is. They didn't give me a good answer. But I was expected to peak, you know, over a thousand, going up hills, things like that. I have yet to crack 550 on this thing, so I'm not sure why that is. On the left-hand side, you've got your uh, your uh, grip, you've got a uh, light, and then the horn. Pretty loud, and your control pad, of course. Plus and minus. I don't know why there's a second light on here. Um, power button and info. So here's the headlight on the K6F. Uh, it's got daytime running lamps um, plus a headlight. So I'll hit the switch here on the headlight. And you can see there. I'll do a night shot as well so you can get a feel for how it looks at night. But it looks to be a pretty powerful light um, with daytime running lamps. Pretty cool. Okay, to, uh, to fold this bike, you're going to basically unscrew the little knob at the bottom of the bike here as you see me doing it literally just unscrews and then it tightens up when you want to fold it back in so after several uh, twists there i was able to loosen it up you can see how quickly or easily the bike just folds like a taco and uh, you can also fold the pedals down as well make sure you do that the handlebars are not foldable so you can't do that but uh yeah here here it is just folding up it's a heavy bike, so keep that in mind. Um, it doesn't really fold into a small package, I would say. It's still pretty big, but it is, you know, you're basically folding it in half uh, to store it somewhere a little more easily. So it's not that great of a space saver because it is still a big bike, but um, there you go. That's what it looks like. Fold it up and collapse on itself, essentially. So, um, yeah, there you go. Guys, run this uh, EUI K6 Pro 1000 watt beast of an e bike. We're gonna do this road test and uh, see how fast we can go. Check out the hills. Here's the street crossing one, two, nice and quick. This thing has 96 newton meters of torque, 96. So, really good punch off the line. Speed's off by about one. It's saying 25, it says 24. Those are on the corners here. Nice. It's got those Kenda tires on there with those big treads. Only a PS3, I'm doing 22.
I sit up high in this e-bike, so the handlebars are a little bit lower. If I raise the seat higher, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be raised higher, so I'm gonna be kind of wrenching over more. I'm six foot, so it gets me okay. All right, let's do these uh, PS level testings here. I'm the PS1. Uh, uh, I'm zero. So there's PS1. Little bump there. And we're already up to 15 miles an hour. PS2. We're at 18 miles an hour, almost 19. PS3. 22. PS4, we're at 24.5, PS5, let's turn the corner here, no cars coming, all right, here we go, PS5, there's 24, 25, 26, starting to pedal harder, 27, hey, come on, 28. might be a tad slower than uh, it says. I think I saw 26 there on the GPS. Nonetheless, it's uh, pretty fast. This seat's a bit weird, this wing seat they give you. Uh, I'd recommend just a nice fat wide seat on this e-bike. Because this wing seat, you really if you lean one way, your whole body, your whole uh, torso goes that way. Spike has pretty good balance. No hands. Let's do a throttle only test here. There's 25. 26, 27, and 28. Come on, 28. Almost 28. All right, let's go do a hill test and uh, see how I right, start this hill test. One note, uh, I'm at about 80% on the battery. I thought was, I tried to top it off, but this charger is like two amps, so it takes forever to charge, eight to 10 hours. So I hit 27, maybe 26 on the GPS for the top speed. Uh, maybe if you top it off and it's 100%, maybe then you get 28 fully, but just a quick side note there. All right, let's do throttle only first up the hill. And uh, good pickup off the line. We expect no less from a 1,000 watt. All right, sun's in my eyes. I'm doing 12, gaining speed. 13, 14, 14, we're going to do that extra extra steep hill as well up here, so we're three levels, that was the first part of the hill, by 80% grade, up here is 10%, and then there's a, uh, I think it's 12% grade, so we're doing 16 miles an hour up a hill, okay, let's start pedaling here, here's where it gets steeper, 10% grade. My battery bar dropped already. We're doing 12. GPS says 11. 11.6 on the bike. 10 on the GPS. Looks like that's it. 10.9 was the lowest. Okay, so there you go. Didn't it? Uh, didn't break 10. Let's try down this really steep hill up here. We'll do a uh, throttle only here. I'll gain a little speed. Here we go. Really steep. 12% grade. And yeah, this is going to do it. Power's right up there. Eight miles an hour was the lowest. Nice. Now we're gaining speed here. Right, still a little downhill coast, test out the brakes. And this bike is 81 pounds, so it's hefty.
31. those brakes yeah nice controlled stop Very nice. all right there's the k6 pro from uh, eui bike again not a brand name but uh, pretty unique in the market for what they're giving you here uh i don't have a, a whole ton of complaints about it i mean the seat is not for me this is a really weird seat you can see how flexible this this seat is um, they don't give you a tail light. I mean, most tail lights suck anyway, so it's not really a big issue. It does have a USB port right here as well. Uh, many times when I use those things, they don't work with my iPhone for some reason. So I don't know if that, I haven't tried mine yet in there, but uh, you just need to get a USB cable. Uh, you can buy like a short one on Amazon and try it out. Um, you know, the weight is an issue. It's 81 pounds. I don't like heavy bikes, but um, you know, not whole, you know, it's a massive battery in there, 25 amp hours. Uh, I don't like the chargers, only a two amp charger. It takes eight to 10 hours to get this thing to full. That's basically an entire day. Um, and uh, you know, out of the box, it works great. There was really nothing to complain about. I think the pedals are, they're a little high off the ground, I mean that chain ring is really a good 10 inches off the ground. So you don't get a the best pedal extension or leg extension for your legs, but other than that, I mean it folds easy with that little knob down there. And uh, you know, for 13.99, thousand watts, I mean, that's a pretty good price. Um, if you don't want to spend the money on a Kepler or the wire freedom you know this is a good alternative to that um, it's heavier but uh, it has basically all the amenities that uh, the wire does except for the speed overall but um, there you go EY K6 Pro I'll put a link in the description I am an affiliate so if you do purchase one help out the channel I'll make a small commission don't care which e-bike you buy just use my links help out help support the channel there guys um, but what do you guys think about this K6 Pro? Throw a, throw a comment on there. Let me know your thoughts. Um, again, very unique on the market. And uh, can't wait to see what EY comes up with next. So that's it for now. See you in the next Crisscrossed. Crossed.